So a fever is essentially just a temperature that is over 37.5 degrees. So there can be several causes of a fever in a child. So we are going to discuss that a little bit. So, you know, fevers can be caused generally by infections. So if you have otitis media, that can cause an infection, an ear infection. Or tonsillitis, that's quite a common cause of um, infections. Upper respiratory tract infections, um, it can cause fever. Um, common childhood illnesses such as chicken pox can cause fever. Obviously, that would be accompanied by a rash, although I think sometimes um, the, the illness can uh, precede the, the, the rash. And then uh, lower respiratory tract infections such as pneumonia, urinary tract infections, gastrointestinal infections, septic arthritis, sepsis in general, and Karasaki's disease. And right here I have a a uh, wound. So in case, you know, there's an infection post-surgery or via, as a result of a fall. So you want to investigate the various courses of fever um, in various ways if, if, if the course of fever is not so obvious. So one way that you can do this is via um, taking a urine sample slash culture or you can do blood cultures in order to check for, you know, any occult blood infection. Now, if you are worried about CNS pathology, then maybe you want to um, do a CSF analysis. Or perhaps you want to do a stool culture if you're suspecting any gastroenteritis or gastro problems. Um, or you can do a chest x-ray if you're suspecting any respiratory pathology. So we have a traffic light system in order to determine what, how, um, how fast you need to respond to um, a fever and how serious it is. So the traffic light system is essentially is, you know, green for, um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a manageable course of fever, nothing to worry about. Amber, you're in the intermediate stages where you are quite concerned and red, you must act immediately. And the various, assist, uh, the various categories under the traffic light system are colour, activity, respiration, hydration, slash circulation status and other. <clears throat> so I'm just going to discuss um, when you would really, really be worried in the case of a, a fever. So if the, if the child is, is um, kind of mottled or blue, in appearance, then that could be a huge cause for concern. If there's a reduced activity, so perhaps there's a there's a weak there's a weak cry, and the 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 child doesn't appear to be engaging in any social cues, then you you could be quite concerned, to be honest. In terms of uh, respiration. If the if the if the there is an increased rest rate, I believe over sixty, that's a huge cause for concern. And if there's a recession of the muscles when breathing, then again, that's a huge cause for concern. Hydration. If your capillary refill is over three seconds, you're going to be um, you're going to be worried as well. And underneath the category of other, um, say, if you have a rash, which is suggestive of, um, you know, a meningio meningococcal disease, then again, you're going to be quite concerned and you need to act quite quickly. There are other things underneath 
um, these various categories, which you, you can perhaps look up further. So if we want to, let's discuss um, a few signs of um, some quite serious problems that you uh, may get. Okay, so meningococcal disease. So with meningococcal disease, you can get a um, purpuric rash. You can get neck stiffness and your capillary refill time is increased. You need to act quickly. Meningitis is quite similar. You're going to get neck stiffness, irritability, photophobia, bulging of the fontanelles. With septic arthritis, you're going to get bulging of your your joints and a decreased ability to weight bear. Now, an honourable mention, obviously, this is not um, in the in the same category, severe category of meningitis, meningococcal disease and septic arthritis. But I thought we could discuss a little bit about um, how UTI presents because it, it's it's uh, not quite um, as obvious as as may seem okay obviously you're going to get a uh, urine well you might get urinary symptoms such as dysuria painful urinating and um increased frequency but also you might you might find a, a, a kind of an, um a poor feeding vomiting and just general irritability as well okay so in terms of managing the various um, conditions, it's important to, again, follow the, um, the traffic light system. So, you know, with green, um, things with a fever which falls into the, the green area of the traffic light system, maybe it'll be more at home management, more conservative. But again, we have to bear in mind the various course, uh, courses of fever and treat the underlying course.